As you move downhill just a little bit in elevation, you start to get moist areas that combine those things that you're going to find in wetter areas with things that we've seen in the sand hills. And we call it a longleaf pine flatwoods. Now much of what we find still left in this part of Florida that Spire maintained is flatwoods habitat. This area has been burned this year, so it's exceptionally green and beautiful and full of flowers, but you can still see a layer of shrubs. Things like gallberry, which is actually a dwarf species of holly, and a very strange wax myrtle. You can actually tell this dwarf wax myrtle from the regular wax myrtle, not just by its stature, but by the scent. It smells almost like eucalyptus. Almost everything that grows here is short and stoloniferous. That means it runs and it can reproduce the year after it burns because in these areas that are exposed to fire, you have to be able to shoot up quickly and reproduce. And if you're gonna be a woody plant, that means you better put most of your biomass underground. Among the oak species we find here, two of them are dominant. One of them is a running form of live oak, Quercus minima. It's an evergreen with leaves that look a lot like a holly. And they're joined by runner oak. And just like the running live oak, it runs around the habitat and shoots up just after a fire and produces acorns. Neither one will ever become tree statured if you don't burn them. And of course, those shrubs are joined by the ubiquitous saw palmetto. And wiregrass is everywhere. These are longleaf pine wiregrass dominated systems. They just happen to also contain lots of shrubs. And the pink is provided by a meadow beauty, in this case a really wide-ranging one found everywhere throughout the range of Longleaf Pine pretty much. This is smooth meadow beauty. In fact, there's probably more species of meadow beauty right here in the East Gulf Coastal Plain per unit area than anywhere else on Earth. There's also strange milkweeds out here, linear leaves. They barely look like milkweeds at all until you look up close at those really unique flowers. Very spidery. It's a specialist of this habitat of the flatwoods. But you know what? We're in the Apalachicola region and that's a center of endemism. Plants that you can find nowhere else. And here in the flatwoods we find this beautiful yellow plant, Phebanthus tenuifolius. It's a sunflower relative restricted to this part of the world. And it's joined by many others, including the very localized species of aster that's really special to this area. Eurybia oringifolia. Beautiful white flowers right now. And one of the rarest in this habitat is the simple leaf wild indigo, Baptisia simplicifolia. It's just getting ready to flower right now. It's incredible that everywhere you look here in the Apalachicola region, you find not just unique habitats and, and some of the best examples of these habitats anywhere on Earth, but tons and tons of unique species.